Konnichiwa, everybody. It's Ward, and it's time to check out a new anime, a seasonal Binland Saga. Supposedly, the hot new show, similar to Berserk. I did love the uh, manga, the good arc, the golden arc, whatever. I didn't read much past that, but I did watch, you know, the old anime series. I love that. So if it's anything like that, I will enjoy it, surely. What is so great about it? Well, it's a dark, gritty world, and a realistic, almost a bit over the top violence. Gotta love it, right? Uh, and also, this is about Vikings. I'm particularly interested because I'm Norwegian, if you didn't know. And I mean, we learn a lot about Vikings in school, and it's part of my like heritage or whatever, supposedly. Vikings and a Finland saga. Is it like, does it have to do with Finland? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, anyways, it is a manga that people have been pining for an adaption, a good adaption, uh, kind of in a similar way to Berserk, also, I guess. Is it then also very old, the manga? Maybe. Uh, but people haven't seen good things about the anime, so I gotta check it out. I'll do a countdown, and you can start the episode along with me. Three, two, one, go. And you can see if you're synced up um, by that little thing. I'll keep it up for a little while. Mid Studio. I forget what they have done. I'm not so good at studios except for Madhouse and Gainax. Beautiful. Almost sounded like Mozart there. Isn't it a bit too happy? Oh, did he step in a trap? Oh, I was just imagining it. All right, right into action. Damn! <laughs> this is awesome, yo. What? <laughs> he cut like four of them right in half, and the mast. Now that's some berserk type level right there. Year 987. Dude, this looks so much better than this uh, CG berserk already. They're so casual about all those arrows. This battle is no big deal to them. Oh yeah, he jumped like he was in the Matrix, yeah? Damn. Mincemate, yeah. And I love the animation that the 3D is. Uh-huh. These guys are kicking all sorts of ass, huh? If only Berserk would be like, adapted like this. The action anyways. Like proper use of 3D as well. Dude, he looks like he's bored almost. <laughs> Just another day. Here I go killing again. See, these people have families as well. Uh, did it hurt or what? Damn! Even battles underwater? What? It threw away his sword? I guess it's no use swimming with it. 
There's plenty of swords around. Pretty cool opening if so far. Taurus, you see the main character? Yeah, I gotta see that opening uh, fighting again afterwards for sure. It was awesome. Vinland Saga. Alright. We're getting an intro? Yes. But yeah, another show that did 3D really well was uh, The Promised Neverland recently. Oh, it is in English. Like every background in uh, The Promised Neverland was 3D, just about. Which is why the camera work was amazing. And these guys are also doing something crazy. Uh, I mean, look at this. Some awesome uh, shots, y'all. And this song is uh, pretty dope as well. Sick guitar. Oh, I guess that's the main character, the blonde kid. Taurus kid, I guess. Or is the other guy, because he's got blonde hair. Lots of characters. Awesome. <laughs> I'll show the subs a bit again so you can see if we synced up or not. Somewhere not here. But yeah, I'm not sure what I've been meaning to watch. It's also Vikings. Uh, people have likened it to Game of Thrones. Somebody say something. Iceland. So it is set in like real life time. It is real life Vikings uh, based on re true stories, maybe. I mean, we do know some things about them. Although the names don't really ring up any bells. But I do remember reading about the sagas of uh, Snofa, the king. Is that maybe the guy that showed in the intro, the king? If it's, if it's if it's the same name, then I'm not for sure. I think it was the king, at least. He says he seems so innocent right now, but the intro kind of gave it away that he becomes a bit more battle-ready, hardened. Man, it's so high quality, oh. What continent is that? Is it Britain? Or Vinland? Vinland. Is it Finland? I gotta look it up, maybe. Leif Erikson, that sounds very familiar. 
Explorer. I need to brush up on my history, you know. I mean, Viking stuff is pretty interesting, isn't it? And the answer. I guess it was America then. I really should know the stuff being from Norway and all, but still. He is very eager. Do they have monsters? I do. I'm familiar with German gun. Shows up in a lot of JRPGs. And mythology, of course. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's kind of goofy, isn't it? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Didn't really see him in the battle. Somebody's wandering, or oh, it's a prisoner that escaped from somewhere. Mm -hmm. She is cute But yeah, wasn't he Danish or whatever? I forgot. Leif Eriksson. What? Oh, he's dreaming. Of course. <laughs> It's that much of a pattern. Guess they are pretty close, those siblings. Why can't we get a slave?
Put a tile drop. Is there a person? Yeah, there's that guy. He's totally dead. He almost made it into the house as well. That's a bummer. Warship, cool. Nature be dangerous, young. We ate ice. Damn. Did that really happen? Sounds a bit unbelievable. Lucky that he survived then. I love the look of the water. Oh, he's actually alive? I guess it's not impossible. Just very unlikely. You know some kind of CPR, even back then. Pretty sure it wasn't around back then. You won't blow air into, into him though. Yeah, CPR is a pretty new invention, isn't it? from like the 60s or 50s, I think. Norway. Oh yeah. Represent. It is quite beautiful here. Tell you what. Oh, the evil guy is from Norway? He was the guy in the intro, right? Norway is the bad guys. Are we going to be fighting Norway? That'll be fun. How do you not believe him, huh? He's really trying, huh? He cares about people, doesn't want slaves. Trying so hard to save one who he doesn't know. Of course, uh, the sister doesn't care so much. Or maybe she does. 
Maybe give him some water, some food. If you want him to live. Half done. And it's pretty awful being a slave, isn't it? Oh, he's come for a slave. Are they gonna hide him? There's gonna be trouble again, huh? What are you gonna do? Gonna hide him? That's gonna use it like a weapon? He sounds pretty twisted, y'all. Yeah. But he looks by less. This guy is brave, y'all. Yeah. Uh-huh. They got a feed, you yeah. I guess that's the kind of threats they made back in the day. But he's got skills with that chain, you yeah. know. Okay. Cool. Did tear his head off? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He ripped the skin off? This is crazy, huh? And his hair. <laughs> awesome. Terrifying. It doesn't look proper northern, a bit more Asian looking, I don't know. Are these dreams of Norway? I wonder. Does it ever get that summary in these parts? Our family became slaves. It's pretty sad. Oh, I guess the dream of fin Finland, rather. Dreams of a better future. Right on. Yeah, it's gonna 
I mean, it's too late to hide them. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, he could be. He should be kind of grateful, actually. I watched the bite say maybe. Uh huh. Lucky slave. Messed up. Oh, he's gonna stand up to them? <laughs> Does he have that many sheep? I mean, you might as well get some other slaves for cheaper. If you want to go around saving slaves, I don't know. I mean, you could still put him to work. This is slightly better conditions than being a slave and being tortured. You said you wanted a slave, young. Yeah? Oh, he did actually die. <laughs> I think it did the right thing though. I mean, it wasn't very smart, but. They go to Vinland, my dude. Who's that? Oh, it's the guy uh, he was fighting with, or? Oh, it's uh, the Northern Lights. I've seen them in real life. There's something in the chest. Oh, uh, weapons? Something special about them? Was it the one that was under the sea? It looked kind of similar. Another English native speaker singing. Beautiful. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, I'll totally watch more of this. Right. I love the art and uh, the animation um, and the action. Um, everything was top notch. The highest quality, really. Alright, I do have some 3D people as well. Uh, I mean, they had in the beginning as well. I gotta go look back on it. Uh, well, not at one shot where he cuts down like three or four men and the masts in one fell swoop. I haven't seen something like that before. And it didn't look like that sort of tacky violence. Tacky as in Elfin lead, which I checked out a couple of days ago. <laughs> that was a bit tacky, for sure. Does he ever reach Finland? Projection IG. I should have recognized it, actually. 
feels pretty similar to their animation style. And Wit Studio, I forget what they did though. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, so interesting. Um, I will try to keep up with it. Right. Such a cool setting. So yeah, that was uh, 1002. What was, when was the battle? Uh, I had it, but then I didn't. Oh, that was like last year's before, but it looked the same. 987. So 15 years earlier. And who was that guy I was with? It was that guy. No, it was a different guy. I think. He still got blonde hair though. And that man is huge. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me see him jump again. You guys can't see what I'm looking at, but um Yeah, no, it's not entirely set in real life, I would say, um considering the amazing feats he pulled off at the beginning there. Jumping from boat to boat and cutting people in half. Yeah, the guy underwater kind of looks like his friend. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to see more of it. But yeah, don't forget, well, there's early access to my other shows on Patreon. But not this one, because it's a seasonal and I will be releasing it. At the same time as I am on uh, Patreon. I say no early access for it, unfortunately, but I'm still about four months ahead in regards to everything else. Um, and yeah, you should also subscribe if you want, if you enjoy my reaction, and you can make me watch stuff on Patreon, up to 12 episodes each month, or even just one if you're doing early access, that is. You can make me watch anything, really. No limits, but I will do a timer if it's too lewd. <laughs> Otherwise, I might do the time, the picture-in-picture -picture, um, type of reaction. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace.